Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video. It's that time of the month again. Yes, the Blu-ray haul time. And the stack that I've got here is kind of like blocking out the window. It's quite a large stack this month. Uh, mixed with 4Ks, some steelbooks, some Arrow titles, some charity shop pickups uh, and some cheapies. And a couple of foreign ones as well. Okay, let's get into it. Oh, and a DVD as well. You can't forget a DVD. Yeah, let's get into it and uh, let's see what I had picked up and delivered for the month of... What month are we in now? April <laughs> 2021. Okay, so with all things, let's start with the DVD. And there's only one DVD pickup this month. Normally I wouldn't have bothered to pick it up, but I read about the film. It looked good from the trailer. It looked good from the description. I don't know if there's a Blu-ray. There probably is in somewhere like Germany. This is a movie called Portal. Uh, from the team behind VHS Sea Fever and Becky. I know Sea Fever wasn't that good. Uh, but uh, it stars nobody that I've ever bloody heard of. <laughs> Has anybody ever heard of that lot up there? Probably not. Forget everything you know about the universe. Yes, this is a sci-fi thriller that pushes the boundaries of science fiction storytelling. It's about a number of mysterious alien doors that suddenly appear around the globe. Uh, all walks of life go through the doors, discover what's on the other side. So kind of a bit of Stargate and a bit of Star Trek uh, City on the Edge of Forever. So it sounded interesting and uh, it looked all right from the trailer. I picked that up for about £7.99. So we'll give that a go. If I like it, I'll try and seek out a Blu-ray if there's one available. OK, still books. I believe there's only two still books this month. Yes. First still book, of course, is Robocop. Uh, I had to pick this one up, even though I do have the Arrow Limited Edition box set. This was £7.99. When are you ever going to say no to a Robocop still book for £7.99? Even if you do have multiple copies of the film. But uh, it's got all the special features on there of the theatrical cut and the director's cut. So, yeah, even though I had the main box set, it's a plus. I've got to pick it up. As Alan would say, why wouldn't you? <laughs> uh, and the other still book I had delivered was Godzilla. This is the 2014 Gareth Edwards one. This looks beautiful. Be looks beautiful and sounds beautiful. Um, I opted to go for the still book over the top of the regular 4K, which has the green cover and the Cine World. Cine World? Cine Edition, the HFV Cine Edition. Oh, I so can't wait to get back to the cinema that all I've got on my mind is view and Cine World. <laughs> yes, the HMV Cine Edition. But I decided to go for the still book. I love the design of the still book. Uh, I already have King of the Monsters, which is a gorgeous still book, and I've got a pre-order in for uh, Godzilla vs. Kong, which also looks fantastic. So um, to complete my Godzilla era uh, still book series, I just need to get hold of the Kong Skull Island one. I'm trying to find the version that doesn't have the 3D logo on the front because it's just plastered massive everywhere but there is a version of that steelbook that doesn't have the 3d logo on it i think it's a best buy exclusive and it's only got one disc hub so i might have to stack discs on top of it. anyway i'm getting too too ahead of myself because i haven't bought it yet but anyway that is godzilla that is the 4k right now i'm gonna need to go to the top of the pile <laughs> it's like dominoes <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, I picked up a Studio Ghibli movie this month. Uh, I watched the trailer for this. It looks very sad. Uh, it's probably going to be a tearjerker. This is Grave of the Fireflies. I think I'm going to have probably more entertainment with this type of Studio Ghibli storytelling like when Marnie was there because I really enjoyed that. But for me, Spirited Away was a bit out there. It was a bit weird. So it may not have been the best film to introduce me to the Studio Ghibli series. But I'll probably go back and revisit 
uh, Spirited Away. I have Ponyo and, and a load of others that I need to, to watch at the moment. Courtesy of one of my lovely viewers, Lewis. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely going to give this one a go. This one looks really good. What have we got? Okay, we've got a couple of arrows. Yes. Uh, I picked this one up because I looked on various places, Amazon, HMV, Zavi. It was nowhere to be found. Uh, I think some HMVs still have a stock of it for eight uh, £7.99. But on the most part, I think it's out of print. Uh, this is the Delta Force with uh, Chuck Norris and Lee Marvin. Yeah, I bought this for £10. Uh, I couldn't find it for £7.99 in any HMVs. So I'm happy I paid £10 for it because it is quite tricky to get hold of now, uh, you know, for the right price. So, yeah, look forward to checking that out. Uh, it does come with reversible art and also I've got a disc there and a lovely booklet. Uh, and that was in CEX, so I'm really surprised that the booklet's actually still in it. Uh, next one, uh, this was in the recent Arrow sale. This is a John Hughes film. Uh, it's a new restoration of a 4K scan from the origi original negative. I've actually never seen this one. This is an 80s film with Molly Ringwald uh, and, and Michael, is it Anthony Michael Hall? Yeah. This is 16 Candles and comes with a really nice slip with lots of gloss. Yeah, I've seen a few John Hughes films, but this one I've never seen. So, yeah, I'll give that one a go. Definitely. Uh, next one I picked up is a Johnny Depp and Benicio Del Toro film. This is one of those Arrow limited edition box sets. So this is Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. I might have seen this film maybe, or I might have seen a few scenes, but I've never seen the film all the way through. As you can see, it comes with a Blu-ray and a book. Uh, I think it comes with maybe some postcards and a poster. Uh, but this was really cheap. This... I th I think this I also picked up at £7.99. So I'm really happy I managed to get this one. As I say, it's an Arrow limited edition one. You need to kind of pick these up quite early, you know, because these limited editions really go out of print quickly and are harder to find. Right, 4Ks. OK, so the first 4K. Uh, this is a Michael Camino, Camino film, Robert De Niro. Uh, it is The Deer Hunter. I have never seen this film. I've seen scenes here and there, but I've never had the opportunity to actually sit down and watch the film. This is probably going to be the winner of what flick will Paulie pick. So I thought I'd better pick it up while it's in like the two for 20 or the three for 30 uh, while it's cheap. There was a bigger box set for this, uh, about £27 or something, but I'm perfectly happy with this version. So we shall give that one a go when the uh, the What Flick series comes back. Uh, of course, they re-released the Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Uh, this is the Ultimate Edition. Uh, the slip is not in a brilliant condition, as you can see at the top there. It's a bit scuppered. Uh, and this came from Amazon, so I'm, I'm really surprised. But uh, other than that, it's perfectly fine. The US one didn't come with a slip, so strange that we get a slip, but they don't. Some features, uh, special features on the back there and everything. And the disc is the same. Uh, the difference between this and the existing Ultimate Edition, I believe this one has the IMAX scenes inserted back into the film. And also it's got a better colour grading as well, so they've tinkered about with the colouring to get it right. So I'm looking forward to watching that one again. Uh, I picked up this one. This is one of my favourite Star Trek films of all time. What is it? Wrath of Calm? Undiscovered Country? No, it's J.J. Abrams' 2009 Star Trek film. Um, even being a diehard Star Trek fan, going way back to the 80s, I love this film. This is so much fun, so entertaining and great cast. I do have three more reviews to do in my Star Trek review series. So I've got this one, uh, Star Trek Beyond and Into Darkness, which I'll be reviewing soon. But I didn't have this one, so I needed to pick this one up. This, I think this is the only one 
maybe that doesn't come with a slip cover uh, or I could be wrong into darkness I don't think comes with a slip cover either but there we go that is Star Trek uh, I picked up in the this was Amazon uh, I think this worked out about nine pound about nine pounds yeah I think it was like two for 18 on the four k's this is Alien Covenant um, it's not the best Alien movie, but I still enjoy it. It's great to watch, especially after you've seen Prometheus. But uh, it has its moments. And uh, it's a good addition to the Alien franchise. I know a lot of people don't like it, but uh, yeah, it's entertaining. Talking of Alien, let's do this one first. Uh, I also picked up Prometheus as well. Unfortunately, no slipcover, but... There is a slipcover out there. So these two I picked up from, was it HMV? No, I'm pretty sure it was Amazon. I'm pretty sure it was Amazon. I know, I think HMV do have them. And the third Alien one I picked up is the original Alien. This is the 40th anniversary. Needed this one. Didn't have it in the collection. Uh, surprised that we haven't had Aliens yet or Alien 3, but think they're coming next year in 4k so aliens in 4k with dolby atmos that's a young boy's fantasy <laughs> so anyway that's alien uh, next up we have a bit of will smith action and this is i am legend didn't have this in the collection this is a great apocalyptic zombie movie um very sad scene with a dog uh there is an alternate ending for this film which i prefer the original ending uh but the zombies or the vampires or whatever they are um on the cgi yeah now you know me i am a harry potter fan i am a fantastic beasts fan i love the fantastic beasts movies uh, and I realised that I didn't, didn't have this one. I didn't have the first Fantastic Beasts movie. The second one I've got with a slip cover, which was sent to, sent to me by one of my lovely viewers over a year or so ago. Uh, but uh, yeah, I didn't have this one. I've been looking around to try and pick this up, but I always found it with a torn slip cover or a ripped slip cover, creased, scapped at the end, you know but scuffed rather but this is absolutely mint so i'm happy i managed to find this one and this one also has some nice um embossing on the actual slip cover so really happy that i've got that one uh i've got a couple of movies here now that was uh, sent to me by a pr company that i'm kind of working with now uh, they contacted me out of the blue and asked me if i wanted some movies sent you know so that i could review them and unbox them uh, of course, you're not going to say no, are you? Um, very unusual that this kind of thing happens over the UK because I've contacted, you know, movie company studios for the last three years. Most of them are like, oh, we don't send out review copies or, you know, um, we don't do that sort of thing. But anyway, this company sent me a couple of bits, which I am thankful for. I've reviewed a couple of these. Uh, I've done some unboxings for them. Uh, first one is Stars in Your Eyes. This stars Nat Jackley, Pat Kirkwood. Uh, it's also got a small cameo from Joan Sims from the Carry On films. It is kind of a Carry On-ish type film with some of the humour. It's about some struggling performers uh, in this theatre uh, that decide to buy this dilap dilapidated theatre and do it up uh, because they're not getting the numbers, you know, in the audience. So they thought to put their show on buy this dilapidated theatre and see if they can make a go of it. It's entertaining. It's an entertaining film from 19... I think it's 56. It's either 56 or 57. Uh, also, uh, the company sent me Austin Powers, The International Man of Mystery, uh, which is a really good film, really funny film. Uh, this film actually does have a soundtrack in DTS HD Master Audio, which I think is a little bit superior to the US one. I think the US one is maybe Dolby True HD, but I did put them on one after the other just to um, compare the soundtracks. And this has kind of like a punchier soundtrack. This is a meatier soundtrack 
um, than the American one. Uh, they also sent me Wake of Death, Jean-Claude Van Damme. I haven't actually had a chance to watch this one just yet. Uh, I do like Jean-Claude Van Damme, uh, especially the ones like Time Cop, Universal Soldier. But there are a lot of films of his that I haven't seen, so I'll be looking forward to watching this one. This also comes with an exclusive A3 poster as well. So yeah, you get a nice A3 poster in it. And the last one that the PR company sent me is a Sergio Martino film, which I'll be watching very soon. This is Silent Action. So this is like an Italian mob film. So, yeah, I'll definitely be watching that one and uh, giving my opinion on that one. Pick this one up from CEX for £4. Realised I didn't have it. Uh, it's kind of um, a, a companion piece to the Alien movies. It's nothing to do with Alien, but... It's the same guy that designed the alien, H.R. Geiger. And it's got the lovely Natasha Henstridge in it as well. And a really good cast. Michael Madsen, uh, Ben Kingsley, Alfred Molina. So solid cast. Uh, this was £4. Uh, this was 1995. I can't believe this is 1995. But um, it's also got Forrest Whitaker. I completely forgot Forrest Whitaker was in it. It's got a great cast. Uh, there was two or three sequels. I don't really rate the, the sequels. This is the best one. Some of the recent uh, chart ones that I picked up. This one I picked up called Come True, uh, which I shall be watching, with, you know, within the next week or two. Absolutely terrifying. I don't know too much about it. This is kind of a blind buy for me, just like it's a blind buy for her. <laughs> Uh, we also have Synchronic as well with Anthony Mackie and Jamie Dornan as well. Uh, from the Moorhead and Benson directors of The Endless. I heard The Endless was really good. So yeah, I'll definitely be giving this one a go. This one does look good. This one I had delivered. Yes, it's The Abyss. Uh, it's not an official release, but when you don't have an official release, what can you do? I do have the DVD for this, but... It's right in the middle of the screen. You have to like zoom on the picture and it, you lose all the details. So if there's a version out there that will do until the real thing comes along, then yes, I'm going to pick it up. This is the extended cut. It's in DTS HD Master Audio. Pitch quality is fantastic for what you get in this. So it's probably a transfer from um, an HD scan or a, uh, some TV scan. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm glad I've got that. Uh, it does have artwork on the disc as well. The Abyss Special Edition. Yeah, and it's the Special, the special Edition version. So, uh, the two most wanted Blu-rays uh, I've actually got in my collection now. The Abyss and True Lies. Um, like I say, if they can't be bothered to put the official releases out at the moment, what are you to do? If you don't want to stream them, you own them one way or the other. But uh, as soon as the, the official releases come out, I will definitely be jumping on those. Uh, this film stars Jesse Buckley and Julie Waters. I had the DVD for this. I always wanted the Blu-ray. Uh, I had a pink case for it and I thought, well, it's a good price on Amazon France. I think it was like 11 quid or something. So I definitely picked that up. So this is Wild Rose. Yeah, I saw this at the cinema. Really enjoyed it. Uh, this one I didn't know whether or not to pick up originally because I saw this on digital whew, a couple of months ago now. Must be like two months ago or so. And it's weird, but it's Nicolas Cage. So you're going to get all sorts of weirdness. Yes, this is Willy's Wonderland. Going to give this a go. This is a wacky a really wacky Nicolas Cage film. When isn't there a wacky Nicolas Cage film? But uh, in a way, it was fun. Uh, it was funny with him keep drinking fizzy drink, playing pinball while smashing the crap out of these giant animatronic demons. So, yeah, definitely want to watch that one again for a bit of fun. I picked this one up in CEX in Maidstone for £2. This is Wreck-It Ralph. This is the 3D edition. Comes with a beautiful slip. Minty, minty fresh slip. 
Yeah, two pound for the three D. Can't go wrong with that. One of the uh, recent really big limited editions that I've picked up is Short Circuit Two. Uh, now there will be an unboxing for this, so keep an eye out on the channel for an unboxing. Johnny Number Five. Uh, great things I remember about the first film. I don't remember too much about the sequel, but uh, definitely want to watch it again. Next up, we have a film from Cine Asia. This is a historical epic that beat Tenet at the box office. Uh, this came out on DVD a couple of weeks ago, but I was holding out for the Blu-ray, or well, more like a month or so. The, uh, the Blu-ray got delayed once, but we finally got it. This is the 800. Uh, this is set in Shanghai in 1937. Uh, it's been three months since J Japan launched an invasion of China. So it's going to look really good. It's going to sound great. You watch the trailer for this. If you don't know anything about this, watch the trailer. You'll get shivers. This is their version of Saving Private Ryan. And it looks just as impressive. So I'm definitely looking forward to watching that one. Next up, we have a Stephen King adaptation with... Little Juru Barrymore, yes, uh, I want to say a big thanks for uh, Magpie Movies' Geordie Paul for putting me onto this. I found this in my local HMV for £5.99. It's marked up as £14.99, but you take it to the counter and it's £5.99. So this is a dual format special edition. Uh, it's a UK Blu-ray premiere, 2K transfer. Comes with... Blu-ray, I think there's a book and a poster and all that kind of stuff, or some art cards. So yeah, I'm glad I got that. It's been a long time since I've seen that one. Uh, this one I found recently also in CEX in Maidstone, a Martin Scorsese film with Liam Neeson, Silence. Um, don't know too much about it. It's all religious, is it? A priest, priesthoods and that kind of stuff. Um, it looks good. I've heard it's very slow, um, although some people refer to it as boring, snoozing. So, yeah, it's not going to be a fast-paced movie. So I know what to expect then. I know to expect a slow burn film. Whether or not I enjoy it, I'm going to have to try it. But uh, it says it's a masterpiece. It's not one of Martin Scorsese's big well-known movies, so maybe it didn't do that good. But uh, definitely give that one a go. This one I found. Uh, always a fan of this film. It's absolutely hilarious. This is We Are The Millers. Um, great cast. One of the funniest films of the year. I would actually agree with that. It is absolutely hilarious. And for me, the highlight of the entire film is Will Porter. He is just fantastic in this film typical teenage dorky geek uh, but he does get to kiss these two lovely ladies so uh, I bet you read the scripts and thought yes <laughs> but it's still a really funny film and it's the extended cut as well I think on the American one um, I think on the American one I don't think the American cover says Kenny I think it says something else I'm pretty sure it does uh, next up, uh, a mad self-perpetuating cycle of fear based on true events. I've heard this is really good. This is a TV series uh, starring Jared Harris. This looks fantastic on the back. It's a compelling new drama brought to life by an inviolable cast. Dark and bleak, it will continue to haunt me. This is The Terror, season one. I believe there is a second season. So, yeah, um, I don't think I saw any of this on TV. I don't remember it being on Sky. I, I should imagine it was, but uh, it does look good. It also stars Tobias Menzies from The Crown as well. So, yeah, definitely want to give that one a go. This is actually only on two discs. I'm not sure how many episodes are. There's episodes one to six. Episode Oh, ten episodes. So it is quite a long series. So uh, maybe I'll get to see that in like two or three sittings. This one I had delivered from Germany. This is the latest Mel Gibson and Frank Grillo film. This is boss level. 
this is a fantastic action film. This is Groundhog Day meets kind of John Wick. Uh, it's not had an official UK release. No inside artwork, unfortunately. Uh, this is printed on, and of course the back is all in German. Uh, but uh, Richard on the Big Paulie Chatting Movies page, um, he's going to do me up a English sleeve uh, to replace the German one. So I look forward to uh, putting that in the case. This one I picked up from a charity shop in Maidstone uh, on Monday. Yeah, I know. I never pick up Blu-rays from charity shops. Um, this is the fourth season of Glee. This is kind of tricky to get hold of. It's on Amazon and it's on eBay, but not for five quid. Uh, it was five quid and it was sealed. So you can't get better than that. Uh, it's about 14 99 or something on Amazon, about 10 quid on eBay. Um, there are six seasons for Glee. I have the first three seasons on Blu-ray already. So I was desperately looking for the fourth season. Just stumbled upon it. So I would have missed it if I hadn't gone in there. Um, the last two seasons were never released on Blu-ray in the UK. I think Japan is the only country that actually had seasons five and six. But they are quite costly. So I might have to maybe get one every couple of months or something. But uh, that is season four. And the last four Form 1 series... Okay, so I already had Spartacus War of the Damned, which I picked up, I think, from HMV for about £3.99 in their bargain bin, which surprised me when I picked it up. I uh, really enjoyed that, that series. And then I found on the Facebook Marketplace there was a lady in Folkestone that was actually selling uh, the other three seasons. Um, two of them were quid each, and one of them was five quid for for seven pound for two seasons of course three seasons of course i'm going to go and get them uh, so uh she had vengeance with a slip cover gods of the arena with a slip cover and blood and sand she had uh this actually didn't have a slip cover but i mentioned it on my video out of the blue a couple of days later no no I had a slip cover delivered. Still don't know who it came from. So whoever sent it, still thank you very much. Because uh, that completes my series now. So now that has a slip cover. So now I have all four seasons of the Spartacus series with slip covers. Fantastic. There we go. So yes, that is my pickups and deliveries for the month of April. Quite a hefty stack there. Uh, I think that's mainly due to HMV reopening. I picked up some extra bits and pieces. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with that lot. And uh, I'll need to find some space to put them. <laughs> yes, I do have some spare spaces. I can see gaps in the collection now, so it shouldn't be a problem. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it by giving it some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. And I shall see you on the next video. Cheerio for now.